Is it recording? Yep, over to you. Uh, this is our short film, Virtual Trust. The summary of the story is that uh, they're in a virtual world uh, where everyone plays a lot of virtual games and it's a multiplayer game. And um, Theo and his friend Jen discover that the game might not be fully multiplayer and that some of the players may be AI to collect data, but Theo discovers that there are more of them than he thought. And there's a twist in the end of the story where Jen is actually AI as well. Um, this isn't a slideshow that I've been it. What? Right. So, the summary of the campfire scene, um, Theo is worried about the um, bandits being AI, and um, Jen is trying to convince him that they aren't, and uh, they end up going to sleep. Um, still yeah, okay. Well, this scene uh, is going to be mainly taking place at night, kind of, when it's going to be dark later on in the day. Don't hit my hand. Um, and it's going to be, we're going to use LED lights, we're going to use an orange gel with it to um, help enhance the look of the campfire that's going to be in it, to kind of enhance how it's going to look, basically. Next one. Okay. Let's try one. Theo is a dependent but also curious person that wants friends from the virtual world but is betrayed in a story. Jen is a kind person, and it's in quotation marks because she's AI, who wants the best for Theo but ends up being a traitor because she's AI and is actually collecting information from Theo and is pretending to be his friend. And the bandits are aggressive people, but they're also AI and they're used as the enemy in the story, but also are used to turn um, Theo's opinion on the game. Okay, so for camera, it's not the traditional because we're doing a in-game. So we're going to have to go with POV, which means it's a lot of GoPro work, and we can't, it's kind of a struggle to do camera angles and this sort of thing. So we all had to do a lot of research on that. And one of the main things that we used to research was a film called Hardcore Henry. So we've been watching that and getting ideas. Ah, okay. Lighting. For this one, uh, we've decided on using one of these small LED lights because it's uh, like compact and we can, we can carry more than one if we need to, it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, also, you can, uh, there's a variety of gels that we can use for it as well. If you want to bring, like I said before, for the campfire scene, we can use orange gels. Uh, we could also use blue ones as well, just uh, for like night time and things like that when they're not near campfire. Um, yeah, so yeah. Right, yeah, so I'm the sound guy. Uh, so what we're using in our film is a test cam to get the audio. Uh, probably the best mic we use is the Sennheiser, I think that's German probably. Uh, a dead cat over it and the boom pole to obviously get the best audio of it over our characters. And that, yeah. um, for costumes, we thought it would be good to have the bandits wearing all black to uh, label the fact that they are evil. And also by the clothes, uh, to hide their faces. Um, and also to make them look less important. Um, but for the main characters, we're only worried about Jen because obviously Fear is in the first person, so you don't get to see what he looks like. But we're going to give her a new, unique look with camo trousers and a generic grey top with a white jacket to just make her look you know, different to the other bandits. Okay, so for locations, we've picked out three. We are going to go to Fongitor Quarry on two of the days. We are hoping to lose the actual quarry itself for a lake because we like that area. And outside, there's this like a band like walls and it looks a bit like a castle. So we're going to hope to use that as our hideout. And we're also going to go to the woods, believe the woods, I believe it's called, and we'd like the look of that area. Right. So what we're using to edit, we're just going to use a bunch of special effects to make it more immersive as a video game. Uh, originally, the editor was Liv, but obviously not here. So I was editor assistant, but now I'm full editor. So what I'm going to try and do is get as many special effects, kind of watch how video games work, and try and immerse the people watching it into the video game world. Uh, this is the production schedule. Um, Obviously, it's just the, the normal days. Uh, this 
this PowerPoint is not the PowerPoint that I saved. Um, so the actual production schedule is not on here. Um, it's really annoying. But basically, we, you know, the past few weeks we've been testing out the cameras, lighting, and the sound. And we are planning to do, um, to read through the scripts and decide what we're going to get the uh, actors to do for the casting and also rehearsals. And in the shooting days, the first two days will be, in the first day will be in the forest and the last two days will be in the quarry because most of the film is done in the quarry. And then obviously the editing will be the last two weeks that we have. Um, so yeah. Just get past that bit. So because it's first person, we've chosen this because of so it makes it more game-like. So it's the audience that's watching, it can help them get into the ideas that we want and it can make them feel like they are in the film itself. It also makes them feel like they are our main character, Theo, as he will be wearing the GoPro, which we'll be using to film this short film. Uh, for the directing, we'll have to do a lot of choreography and practicing acting with Jen. Um, we'd have to do a lot of watching back on the footage on our phones. Um, and yeah, I think. Uh, we'll have to block the scenes out more than the average group as it will be filmed in the first person so we need to make sure that all the equipment is not seen uh, when the person is yeah. looking around. There's a lot more movement. We'll have to do a lot of directing on where the actor moves his face and see because that's where the camera is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's really good.